we can answer many kinds of questions about logical representations by appeal to the identities and inference rules that make it possible to prove claims using those very representations. Let's look at an example from mathematics. The 17th century French mathematician Pierre de Fermat defined an interesting sequence of numbers that we now call the Fermat numbers. A Fermat number is an integer that can be expressed as 2 to the 2 to the n plus 1 for any non-negative integer n. Fermat thought that all Fermat numbers are prime, but he was wrong, so let's consider a claim now known to be true. Not all Fermat numbers are prime. Assume that we have defined the predicates Fermat num and prime appropriately. Then we can encode this claim in logic like this. It's not true that if x is a Fermat number, then x is necessarily prime. But there's another equally natural way to make the same claim. Read it as there exists a number that is both a Fermat number and not a prime. We know that this claim is true because of non-prime Fermat numbers like this one, which is too big for Fermat to have been able to compute it. We've just asserted that these two logical claims are equivalent. How do we know that? The answer is that we can convert either to the other just by applying sound logical identities. Let's start with our initial claim. If we apply quantifier exchange, we get this. Then conditional disjunction gives us this. De Morgan gives us this. And finally, double negation gives us our alternative expression. Since we use just identities, note that the derivation that we just did is reversible. Now let's do a few examples based on a hypothetical human resources database. Let's first make the claim that no one works in quality control anymore. Not a very good thing for this company. And we'll ignore the suggestion that at some previous time there actually were quality control employees. Let's assume that we've defined the predicate works in of XY to be true whenever X works in department Y. And let QC be the name of the uh, erstwhile quality control department. Then we can write, there does not exist anyone who works in quality control. Now we could also write that for any X, we know that X doesn't work in quality control. Just as in the Fermat numbers example, we can show that these two logical expressions are equivalent. This time, it takes just a single step where we apply quantifier exchange. Now let's say that things have gone downhill even farther in our company. No one works in any department anymore. Now we can write, there exists no XY pair such that X works in Y. Alternatively, we could write, for all X and Y, it's not the case that X works in Y. Again, we can see why these two claims are equivalent. We apply quantifier exchange first on there exists an X, and then on there exists a Y. OK, we're turning to a better world. The bosses have said that if no one is late, everyone gets a bonus. Assume that we have defined late and gets bonus appropriately. Probably the most direct way to write this claim is as, if there is no late person, then everyone gets a bonus. The two sets of parentheses shown here in black aren't actually necessary, but we've added them to make clear the structure of this claim. The scope of the first quantifier ends before the implication. So the structure of this claim is actually the same as the very simple one, he implies Q. By the way, it's because the second quantified expression occurs outside the scope of the first that we could reuse the variable x in the second quantified claim. We could also say that if everyone is not late, alternatively, everyone is on time, then everyone gets a bonus. And there's still another way to think of it. Either everyone gets a bonus or someone was late. Again, we can see that these three logical claims are equivalent. A single application of quantifier exchange derives the second claim from the first. To derive the third claim, let's return to the first one. We apply conditional disjunction once and then double negation. 
This video is part of a sequence of videos on representation in first order logic. You'll find links to all of them in the description associated with this one.